Hello everyone, my name is Dan DeMars with Conga Tech. I want to spend a few moments with you today to talk about small form factor embedded computing and how to make the right choice for your application. Small form factors are nothing new in embedded computing. However, we all know that there's a constant drive to reduce power, weight, and increase the portability of embedded devices. Therefore, I want to talk a little bit about the different types of architectures available, specifically computer on modules, and how to choose, once again, the best for your application. There are three common architectures available in embedded computing that most designers go to when they're looking for solutions in their applications. Single board computers are one, stackable PC modules are another, and computer on modules are the third. Single board computers tend to be the lowest cost, however, they have all of the I.O. directly on the PCB and are very hard to customize. And the effort to create a fully custom SBC can be quite an undertaking. In addition to single board computers, there's also the stackable modules and are also relatively clumsy to work with if you get into an expanded I.O. scenario. Thirdly, we have computer on modules. Computer on modules give the designer the most flexibility when it comes to a core compute engine for their OEM product. Computer on modules, for those who are not familiar, are a single PCB small form factor that has high speed connectors on the back side of the module. These high speed connectors mate to an application specific board that has all of the necessary I.O. for the application. This I.O. board is commonly referred to as a carrier board. Within computer on modules, there's four widely adopted industry standards. Those standards are ETX, XTX, ComExpress, and Q7. Both ETX and XTX are 114 millimeters by 95 millimeters, with four high-speed connectors on the underside of the module to mate to the application-specific carrier board. ETX utilizes one of the connectors for the ISA bus, whereas XTX utilizes that same connector for the PCI Express bus. Moving along to ComExpress, ComExpress has a number of footprints identified within the specification, but the two most widely adopted are the basic and compact form factors. Basic is 125 millimeters by 95 millimeters. It has two high-speed connectors on the underside to mate to the application-specific carrier board and often utilizes two SODIMM sockets on the module. The compact module uses the same two high-speed connectors on the underside of the module and typically has one SODIMM socket on the front or top side of the module. This footprint is 95 millimeters by 95 millimeters. Moving along to the fourth most widely adopted standard, Q7. Q7 is a 70 millimeter by 70 millimeter module that uses a high speed edge connector in favor of an underside board to board connector. Q7 is one of the smallest form factors available in x86 embedded computing in the computer on module realm. So how do you choose which computer on module architecture is best for your OEM application? First, you need to look at what your bus requirements are. If you need the ISA bus for peripheral devices within your system, then you're going to probably want to look at ETX. If you've used ETX in the past and you're moving towards a PCI Express implementation, then XTX might be a good choice. There will be some slight modifications required for your carrier board, but the form factor and footprint is the same. If you're looking at a ground up design, something new that's legacy free, and you need scalability, the best solution is most likely ComExpress. You'll have everything from low end CPUs to high with many vendors to choose from. If your design requires portability within the product, low power, then Q7 might be the best fit. It runs on five volt only and also allows within the specification for non x86 based processors. So in summary, you can see that there are a lot of choices available to designers these days when it comes to embedded architectures. Computer on modules certainly allow for the most flexibility and scalability of any product in the marketplace. 
Just make sure that when you're looking to implement a computer on module in your next design, that you align yourself with an organization that has the infrastructure in place to support you and help you get your product to market. Here at Congatech, we focus exclusively on computer on modules, and our main goal is to help you get to market quickly and successfully. For more information, please check us out on the web at www.congatech.us.